Mike Rowe here, here to tell you that not all information comes from a college degree. Do you like Mike Rowe rigs? Let me know in the comments. Mike Rowe So truth be told, I'm still not the biggest fan of Mike Rowe rigs. But I see, I see why a lot of people would like them. I really do. They're inexpensive. You can crawl pretty much anywhere. I could make almost a full course on this tabletop. And since they have seemingly stuck around, I'm going to start making some parts for them. Now, I'm telling you this now, it is a long road to actually make parts. So, you know, it might be six months before something hits the shelves, if I'm lucky and I do a good job on my first design. But... We do make these 050 motors, and they're not a direct bolt-in for the Axial ones. So you let me know what you have done to these Axial 24 scales to bolt this in, because I know we sell a lot of these motors, but I don't know what you're putting them in. And I'm guessing there's a lot of them going in these. So aftermarket motor plates, or, you know, I, I know that you can buy motors that come with aftermarket motor plates, but even so, you would still have to probably cut your battery tray and do some mods. I don't play with them enough to know without really getting into it. So my design goals would be to make something that's not brushed, brushless, but I wanted to bolt up, which is, it's gonna be difficult. It's not gonna be an easy task at all, but I would like if I could figure out how to make it bolt up. And maybe you would still have to like cut the tray over there or something like that. We'll see, we'll see. I just gotta get into it. I've already gotten about half of it done. Need to do the other half and the fun parts, gonna be I get to 3d print a pretend motor and then bolt it in and of course it won't be functional it'll just be one big hunk of plastic but I can at least see and get a feel for it I honestly really love 3d printers for that and I haven't printed a prototype motor yet that might be something even a, a motor that runs that may be something to do in the future it could be cool who knows I don't know but what I'm really interested in is how many of y'all actually do have these micros and what are your favorites? Do you really like these SEX 24s or do you have another brand? It seems like these are pretty popular these days. And the reason why I've held off on really spending a lot of time designing parts for it is because we had mini and micro rigs over and over and over again over the past, not quite 20 years. It's probably been 16 years or so and they always failed they would come out and then they would fail and then another one would come out and they would fail rc4wd came out with a whole bunch of them and they they failed uh, axial had their little 1.9 it hang on it hung on for a little bit and then it failed well now they've got the utb 18 that has taken the place of the original uh comp crawler let's see there was the low c comp crawler in the 1.9 and did axial have one i don't remember now i don't remember it's it's been so long but they just kept coming out and, and failing over and over and over but now i think these two rigs are the most popular we got the sex 24 and then we also have the trx 4m which is a little bit larger here and between the two i think i just like larger rigs so i kind of defer towards this one but it seems like more y'all have this and if you just comment and let me know which one you have or which one you prefer that would help me out just to know it's i, I just want to know what people are having fun with these days and there's entire youtube channels devoted to only micros which is really cool and that lets me know hey they're i think they're going to stick around these being as resilient as they are and just the right size in my opinion that you can still go crawling on most outdoor paths and then these being inexpensive, affordable, I should say, and seemingly having a lot of parts. The aftermarket has really caught on, so it's time. I'm, I'm gonna admit that I was wrong, that they weren't gonna catch on. They, they caught on. I guess it was the perfect storm of the right size rigs at the right price at the right time. When COVID hit, that's kind of, they, you know, they, they just came out at the right time and everybody wanted something to do and going out and crawling or being able to stay in and go crawling is maybe what y'all are into so yeah yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna start reworking some motors we're gonna see what we can come up with and again six months is gonna be a good goal for this to happen i think i can make it happen but it's kind of a long road to develop products it, it really is i don't want to just do something off the shelf and take like an outrunner and make a bolt-in plate that's that's what everybody else is doing 
So that's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to make something that is really cool and a little different than everybody else. A lot different. It'll be ground up. Ground up design, which is what I like. Well, there you go. Well, I asked you a bunch of questions and I hope you answer them for me because I'm I want to learn. I want to learn more about this and what people like and what people are doing with these. If you compete, if you don't compete, if you just go out and have fun, I want to know because yeah, maybe I'll maybe I'll get into these more. If I start making parts for them, I'm going to be crawling them more because I love testing and tuning when it's my own stuff. So there we go. Micros and minis. Micro? Mini? Is that what it is? Because when I when I put a picture up of one of these and I called it a, or no, I put a picture of one of these up and I called it a mini, people kind of took me to task about that. So yeah, micro, mini, I think that's right. I'm into the one-tenth guys and gal. So there you go. Just thinking about micro here. It's a dirty job and somebody's got to do it. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great day. Go rock, smoky circuits and dreams Got a vision real wild, not what it seems Micro RC rock crawlers, an engineer's dream New brushless motors, you know what I mean Stand it up from scratch, no blueprint to find Ears grinding, slow crawlers in mind Homes, hobbies, giving life to steel and wire Electric heart of a rock crawler's fire Brushless blues humming hard tonight Revolution in a brand new motor take flight Rolling over rocks like a whispering breeze A new drop in motors, what we please Robert's mind spins with wonder delight Twisting and turning in the pale moonlight Engine's got a spirit wild and free Pushing limits of what can be Winds blow through wires crisp and clean Iron will like nothing world's ever seen Tiny crawler busting giants in its path Unveil the fury, feel the wrath From lines of tech and wild innovation Micro rock, shaking no hesitation Homes, hobbies, where dreams collide Bringing power from deep inside Take flight, rolling over rocks like a whispering breeze. A new drop in motor is what we please. John Roberts, micro. Micro Motors. <laughs> Micro Motors.